Yeah, guys, that's a lot of notifications. Social media looks daunting to a lot of small businesses. So in this episode, I'm talking about social media marketing tips and tricks for small businesses. I want to give you some of the advice and some of the things we've learned over the last couple of years. They're going to help you and try to extend your reach and get you more OI, get you more sales, which is what you're looking for. Stick around. Let's get started right now. Hey guys, my name is Jared Vandermeer and I build digital marketing and content creation tip videos right here on YouTube. This episode is going to be great for entrepreneurs, anyone running a small business, marketers, marketing coordinators. I'm going to give a lot of value in this episode. Some of the pro tips that we've learned over the last little while on how to market on social media for small business and small business clients. Now, number one, I want to start with one of my pro tips. Whenever you are doing social media marketing for small businesses, you have to find a way to get an extended organic reach. And you're going to do that by using the newest options, the newest features on the social media platforms that make a difference for your business. What do I mean by that? For example, within the last year, LinkedIn has come out with LinkedIn Stories. YouTube has come out with Shorts. Instagram has come out with Reels. And I predict that something like TikTok is going to come out with Stories later in the year. All of these are new features. And when a new feature comes out on a platform, that platform wants that feature to succeed. So they get you a little bit of a, a boost, a bigger organic reach than your regular content to try to promote that to their audiences. And one of the examples that I always like to use is IGTV. When IGTV came out, it was a huge extended reach. We had a lot of different clients and people posting IGTV videos and really were surprised by the fact that it was getting two, three, 400 views compared to their other content, which was only getting pushed out to 50 or 60 people. More recently on Instagram, I started posting some reels and a couple got featured by Instagram in the beginning. Again, when Instagram was trying to get more people interested in reels, they're more interested in making sure you get an extended reach. Put a star beside this one, guys. Whatever comes out, whenever it comes out, do your research, and if it makes a difference for your audience, post and get on those new features right away. Get an extended reach, build your audience. Number two, you hear a ton of influencers talking about quality or quantity. And I want you guys to combine those together. Some quality, some quantity. At the end of the day, I am less concerned about either of those. What I'm concerned about is watch time. The longer someone watches your video, someone stays on your content, reads your text string, the more likely it is that they're gonna see your future posts when you post them. You create this compound effect. For example, one of my top videos on YouTube right now is top social media apps in 2020. It has got a ton of organic reach compared to my other videos because it has a long watch time. It's getting resurfaced, it's getting recommended to other people, yet the quality isn't all the way there. The audio's not great. The lapel didn't work that day. So we had to use the audio from the camera. Some things weren't fantastic, but saving that, still editing that content and pushing it out has got me out and got a reach to a bigger audience, which is what we're all looking for. So quality, quantity, at the end of the day, I'm not worried if the video is a little grainy or the sound's a little bad. What matters is, is is that content getting watched and is it getting watched for longer? When you're looking in your analytics, look at watch time, see it improve over a long period of time. That's how you know you're succeeding. The quality and quantity just really matters if your watch time is going up over a long period of time. That's how you're going to balance it. Now, number three, I'm not going to talk about this tip for very long because it's something I'm passionate about and I talk about in a lot of videos. But Pick one platform that makes the biggest difference to your audience, specifically if you're working with a small marketing department or using your own time and resources. That's because content in order to succeed really has to be unique in today's social media. It has to be organic and has to be native to that platform. And to do that across multiple platforms, it takes a significant amount of time. I have learned that from experience. I've tried to do them all. And by doing that, you fail on all of them. So for example, for me, I focus on YouTube. This is my channel. I love YouTube more than any other platform. And some of my YouTube content then gets pushed to other platforms. 
that doesn't do as well there, but I'm okay with that because YouTube is my place. You need to do the same thing for your small business. Make sure that you're focusing on one platform and you can still have the other ones. You can still have one or two other ones from the platform selection worksheet that I have on my websites in the free stuff section. Take a look, look at your audience, pick one that you're gonna focus on and have a couple other ones to help validate you where you just take some of that content and move it over. Tip and trick number four, reviews make a massive difference even when they're on social media to your local SEO. We realized that Google Maps and other platforms were starting to take reviews from social media sites and add it into their Maps locations. So it is a best practice to make sure you're getting reviews on Facebook for your business where you have that Yelp location so that Bing Maps is showing reviews on Bing Maps. You need to create a social media presence, an online presence that's capturing your audience and getting positive reviews over a long period of time. What that's gonna do, it's not only gonna help validate your social media marketing and your presence on social media, it's also gonna help with your local SEO, pushing your website, your Google Maps location, your Bing's location up in search results. So that when someone's searching on their phone for that local restaurant, you are right there in the maps in the Google Golden 3. And finally, tip number five, use hashtags. Now, before you guys leave this episode, before you click and say, nah, Jared, I know I have to use hashtags. Listen to this. I've done another episode on this. I'll put it in the cards above. Hashtags are very often used the wrong way if you're looking to get an extended organic reach. Remember that hashtags are designed to categorize content and that hashtag has to be followed by someone else, by a different audience, in order for your post to appear in their timeline so that you get that extended organic reach. So don't randomize, don't just throw a whole bunch of hashtags in at the end of your post, don't spam hashtags. What you need to do is you need to be deliberate, you need to be putting locations relevant to your business. You need to be thinking about what industry you're in, what hashtags would someone follow if they were part of your audience? You can also do some research yourself and talk to your audience and see what type of content they're looking at, see what they're following. It's going to help you not only get your content out in the right streams, in the right hashtags, it's also gonna mean you're developing the right audience over a long period of time. That's gonna push up your engagement rates in comparison to the amount of followers of your page it's going to uprank your content. Your content's going to have a higher relevancy score on platforms. That's going to make a difference. You're going to love it. You're going to see a lot more results and you're going to be really happy about the audience you build over time. That's going to trust you and buy from you when the timing's right. Guys, that is it for this episode. Social media marketing tips and tricks for small businesses. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, if you got any value of any of the tips that I offered today, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. If you didn't hit this like, I really wanna know, I wanna keep improving. Leave me some comments below so that I know what to do better in my next episode. Hope to see you guys there. That's it for this one. That's all for now. Guys, just in the end annotations here, I just want to let you guys know that more than just the platform selection worksheet is in the free resources of my website. I got a ton of other documents, customer avatar worksheet, content planning calendars, weekly calendars, different ways to come up with content on my website. They're free PDF downloads. Go check them out, download them. I hope it can help you guys out in planning out your content and doing better on social media, which is such an important part of today's businesses. I want you to succeed. Come on this journey together and let's learn together. Let's have a lot of fun. That's all for now.